Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Delaney and this is another video that's taken a very long time to do. I've kind of been out for a while if you have been following my channel, but I am back trying to get back into it. I look maybe a little bit different. It's been a, a while. I got some highlights since the last video I posted, but for today's video, we're going to be doing another of the modules of the Online Makeup Academy Makeup Artist course. This end is lightning outside, if you see that. By the way, that's what's going on. <laughs> but this is number seven, or this is module number seven, the imperfections and cool eyeshadow technique. So if you're interested, ooh, if you're interested in hearing all about this module, then keep on watching. said if you hear some rumbling see some flashing over here it is lightning out i do have my donut on <laughs> hopefully it's not too distracting because i really like how it looks but we're gonna go ahead and dive right in to my review of module number seven the cool eyeshadow technique and imperfections so if you haven't watched my other videos about the online makeup academy then go ahead i have a playlist go ahead and watch those a lot of this will make a whole lot more sense but the gist of it is online makeup academy offers an online makeup artistry course that you can end up with a certificate after you've completed it and use the information to become a makeup artist and use it in your artistry and in your career as a makeup artist. So I am offering my review of each module step by step and my overall experience in the course. This is number seven and well, my hair is looking really crazy, so don't mind that, it's the end of the night, okay? <laughs> but this is the module that I was waiting for the entire time. I am an acne struggling girly. I have struggled with it my whole life. Uh, mainly in high school, but it still hasn't gone away into adulthood. So I got into makeup because I wanted to cover up my acne and I needed to learn how to do so. And also it eventually became more of like an artistry thing and self-expression and making myself feel beautiful and just playing with makeup. But before it started out for covering acne and I have definitely gotten better at it over the years just by experience, but this is the module that I really, really want to learn about because covering acne, covering pimples, covering scars, things like that, those are really staples of my actual makeup techniques. So I wanted to see if there was anything new that I could add to my arsenal so that I could learn and hopefully do it even better. So without further ado, let's jump in. So starting with the imperfections module, it was the longest mod longest little video in the module. This one was a very short module to do, but the imperfections one definitely had a lot of good pointers, especially when covering scars, how to color correct, how to apply it on a client, uh, things like that. So a lot of the information I knew, some of it was new, some of it was new to me, but it mainly focused on how to color match foundation wise, how to add just the right amount of product so that the acne isn't, you know, it's not going to dry off. It's not gonna be dry and flaky. It's not gonna be like really standing out. And I will go ahead and pop up a picture of what I started with because this is after using the techniques. You can still see this a little bit peeking through, but that's also because I didn't go back and touch it up. And you can see this one a little bit peeking through, but I hope that when you look at me, you don't immediately jump to the acne. And again, makeup is not an eraser. It is an illusion. <laughs> so if I can just get people to not focus on those acne spots, then that is a goal. That is, that's a win for me. But I like the makeup look a lot. This also includes the cool eyeshadow technique that was in the video or in the module. So <laughs> yes, so imperfections, we went over scars, dark spots and pimples and how to correct each of those. There were definitely some helpful hints in there about what to do with each. And I am going to be using some of those techniques in my makeup routine as well. It was very similar though to what my process originally was. So I was hoping it would be a little bit different and I would learn more new things. But as someone who's been in the makeup world for a very long time, it was a lot of things that I had heard before, maybe just not put into practice yet. But the cool eyeshadow technique is next up and I think it's a beautiful everyday look. You can definitely smoke it out, make it more intense if you'd like. It's basically using a cool, 
a cool eyeshadow color and being able to use it on all skin tones. So the module focused on the cool eyeshadow on olive and warm skin tones. I sadly do not have that, so I had to work with what I got. I am very, very pale and cool tones do work for my skin tone because I'm very pale. But I did want to go ahead and utilize the same technique on me and I think it looks really nice. It's something that I absolutely have worn before every day. So I have the silver on the lid and then the cool tone brown and then I smoked it out with a warmer tone brown. The idea of smoking it out with a warmer tone is if you do have a warm skin tone or olive skin tone, that smoking it out with a warm color will actually help it not look so gray on your eyes and that way you can actually wear those cool tones and it won't be as different. It won't be as like gray undertone. You can kind of make it work for your skin. All right, so I did use the cool eyeshadow technique and I do think it's beautiful. However, it is very similar to things that I have done in the past. So this module in particular overall, I did not learn as much new information as I thought I would, even though I was looking forward to the acne covering um, imperfection covering module the most. So overall, I think it was helpful. I think it was beneficial, especially if you have not had a lot of practice covering imperfections. You might find this module a lot more helpful if you haven't struggled with acne and had practice covering imperfections your entire life. So maybe I was just expecting a little bit too much, but I will say I enjoyed the module. It was definitely on the shorter end, but I am happy with the look that I got from it. I think it is beautiful. And I will go ahead and pop up my homework assignment right here for you. And it is this finished look. So we'll see what they think, if they approve. Uh, but yeah, so I overall enjoyed this module even though it was not my favorite one. It wasn't my favorite module of the whole thing so far. So definitely go back and watch the other videos if you're interested, but definitely informative if you haven't had the training that I have had prior. And the cool eyeshadow technique is beautiful. If you do have an olive skin tone or a warm skin tone, then you may actually appreciate the technique a little bit more. I definitely, on myself, do not have as much of a use for that because I can do both cool and warm tones, but as a makeup artist, it is definitely something that's important to know. Overall, final thoughts on module number seven. I enjoyed it. I learned a few things, but I realized I actually knew a little bit more than I thought about covering imperfections, and I will use some of the techniques I learned, but overall, I wish it had a little bit more meat to it. I'm not really sure how much else they can put in there. It was definitely a shorter module, but short and sweet is sometimes good. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial, how I got this makeup look. Also, in addition to my thoughts about module number seven, but I'm gonna keep on moving with this. It's been a while, but I say this in every video. I am so thankful for the flexibility of this program because without it, honestly, I couldn't do it. Because with a full-time job, family obligations, friend obligations, everything that's going on in our lives, in this crazy world, it's hard to be able to fit it all in a certain time frame. So I'm so thankful for how flexible the team at the Online Makeup Academy is, as well as the flexibility of the course. So I hope you enjoyed this video, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I will be back with more videos very, very soon. So I will catch you in the next video.